good morning y'all i hope y'all doing great uh i am i came to see y'all real quick because i'm figuring to go to work but i just wanted to give y'all a quick testimony so um i was actually in the middle of shooting a video last week and in the middle of me shooting that video um something happened i picked my daughter up from school she told me she got hit um somebody hit her she goes further to tell me who did it and of course like any mom i'm frustrated i'm upset i'm trying to figure out why the school ain't called trying to figure out why somebody hit my baby because she's so sweet she's not gonna fight she's not gonna argue um so i was a little upset frustrated guy was dealing with me but the video i was shooting at the time was talking about how to look like christ um amongst people that don't how to uh still try your best to walk and talk um like a christian that you're called to be um even though the rest of the world is doing something completely different um and i had to respond like a christian in that moment right um the lord be dealing with me like real quick it won't be taking a long time that was very fast that was like you're making this video and you better walk what you're talking um so you know in that moment i, I was trying y'all but i ain't mm -mm. i was having a hard time walking what i was talking in that moment um there's a lot of things i play about but my kids ain't one of them so i was having a hard time you know i started to pray i'm like lord because listen i got to call up to the school figure out what happened to my baby and i need to have you bright on my tongue because child okay so i call up to the school the lady leaves with i'm sorry i apologize i should have called you by now i was just trying to get to the bottom of everything make sure everything was true get all my facts together before i called you then that happened to end up being the end of the day you know so she told me what was going on she told me that she would take care of the situation whatever whatever i'm like can you tell me you know the little kid's name so that i can maybe contact um his mom we can handle it well we can't give you that information woo, woo, woo. but my daughter had already told me who the little kid was so reached out to a friend of mine who happened to know the kid's mom because they have some affiliation otherwise so i'm like yo listen if you talk to the the mom please you know give her my number so that we can communicate um i always try to handle things that way you know first because you never know what's happening at home and lord did i not know so i never got a phone call i never got anything me and kaylani and the kids go to the park to go skating like all the time so this was nothing out of the ordinary. The next day, we go to the park. We pick up a friend who also was having, you know, a hard day or whatever. And we go to the park or whatever to skate. And lo and behold, we pull up to the park, and they're the kiddies, right? Um, them and their older sister or whatever. So I walk up to the situation, and the sister at the time was having an altercation with another kid. Uh, a little boy was, like, yelling and screaming at her, you know. And I'm like, Jesus, I mean, the little boy was screaming or whatever, and... I tell him, I'm like, yo, when you're talking to a young lady, um, you need to watch your mouth because you're doing too much, okay? I'm grown. That's disrespectful. Two, you know, that's a little girl. These kids these days, like when we was kids, grown people walk up. If we was acting a fool, cussing, and being stupid, we would stop because we don't know who mama know who mama, okay? So I told the little boy, you know, like, chill. He was like, I'm just sick of this. I'm sick of that, whatever. And I'm like, listen, you can be sick of what you want to be sick of, but watch your mouth when you're talking to a young lady, okay? So then I further say, hey, young lady, can you come with me to talk to your, you know, sibling or whatever? Um, we go over there, we sit down and we talk. And the little boy, I'm like, hey, baby, um, you good? And he was like, I feel much better today, you know. Um, I was very angry yesterday. Uh, I said, did you apologize? He said, yes, I did apologize. I'm like, okay, you good with that? Um, and she's like, yeah, mom, I'm cool, you know. Or whatever. And I further go to explain to this little kid, you can't be hitting girls. Okay, that's going to be the one. So then... I go to explain point two. Um, one, when you see a little girl, any girl, anybody, you just keep your hands to yourself. But when you see a little girl and she looks just like you, her skin brown like yours, your job is to defend her. We don't have enough little boys protecting little girls. You know what I'm saying? So if you see my daughter, I said, you know, she didn't hit you back, right? Because so listen, it was difficult because I'm going to give y'all a little backstory. I wasn't like a real chill kid. I mean, I was chilling, but don't touch me. Okay. I was a fighter. I ain't care if you was a boy, girl, frog, cat, or dog. Do not touch me. Now, I ain't fight nobody off GP. You had to do something to me. And I was brought up like somebody hit you, you knock they noodles loose. You hear me? Um, however you got to do it. My brother did not play about me. Um, and I did not play about myself. Don't touch my button run because now we got to fight. Don't touch me um, and hit me. Don't push me. Don't do, don't do none of that. Um, you can take my stuff. You can do all that. You can scream, holly, yell, and I ain't going to be too mad. But if you touch me, it was going to be a problem. So y'all got to know that's normally how I would have dealt with a situation before I got saved, y'all. 
I'm be trying to tell people all the time, like, he ain't just saved me. He saved y'all from me. Y'all better bless God. Y'all better bless his name, because child. So when you see somebody picking at her, you defend her. You protect her. You don't fight her. You stand up for people, you know, that look like you. You stand up for little girls when they can't stand up for themselves. That's your role as a little boy. And he's like, <laughs> like he took it as, you know, a badge of honor. As in, maybe did nobody tell him that. You know what I'm saying? So I tell little boy, I'm like, hey, baby, okay. You know it is what it is, right? So we're, um, I tell him, I say, hey, we're about to uh, skate. You know, I got an extra pair of skates in the car. You look bored. You want to skate? And he's like, yeah. So he grabs a pair of skates. He get in them, y'all. He starts skating, having the best time of his life. Okay. Um, so then we're skating around. We have a seat for a second to catch our breath. Y'all, this one, it went left. These kids wanted to know about Jesus. Okay. So we're sitting there and, um... I was talking to a different parent, and the kids are like, you know, I, I mean, God know everything? And I'm like, yeah, God know everything. And I'm like, he's like, the little boy's like, God knows everything. And I'm like, yeah, he knows everything. He sees everything. He's the author and finisher of our story. He wrote your life. So he knows exactly what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, how you're going to do it. And like kids, y'all, the little boy picks up a rock, and he was like, mm, he threw the rock. He's like, God knew I was going to do that. I was like, like God knew you were going to do that. Uh, the other little girl rubs her feet in the dirt, and she's like, God knew I was going to do that. That. God knew you were gonna do that. Kaylani said, "You know what? God even know I'm gonna do it." And she skates off in her skates really, really fast. You know what I'm saying? So not only did this become an opportunity for me to teach this little kid, it became an opportunity to witness. I don't know how many times we handle situations in the flesh that we should have handled in the spirit, um, and we miss opportunities to witness, to tell somebody about Jesus, to give somebody a good experience from such a terrible situation. Now, if I'd have went into that situation like my flesh wanted me to go into that situation, you know, trying to tell the kid or you know how folks do you know doing exactly what they wouldn't want somebody to do to their child if they kid messed up right everybody crucify him you know you don't put your hands on woo 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 but if your kid did that to somebody else you wish a grown person would um confront your child in a disrespectful manner without you being present you know what i'm saying had i handled that situation i would have made his life so much worse y'all this story ended up getting much more complicated um and i don't really have a lot of time to get into it but i'll say this we were skating at the park and the baby ended up getting left okay the baby ended up getting left by itself and nobody was there um and this seemed like this happened to be a common occurrence so we ended up waiting, you know, with the kiddo, uh, talking to the baby. Um, and we just had a few more conversations about some other things, you know. Um, there was a bottle, um, a broken glass bottle on the track. And I was told the kids, you know, kind of avoid that. And that little boy looked at me and he said, um, um, that looks like abuse. I said, I'm sorry, baby, what? Yeah, that looks like somebody got mad and took that bottle and broke it on the ground. Well, it's him, what you been saying? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what this little baby was going through, but what I do know is I was able to be a bright spot in his life. Um, he had a good day that day. He learned a little bit about Jesus. He he learned that I'm somebody, if you see me playing, you can come play with me and my kids. You know, um, he knows that I'm now somebody that ain't gonna just leave you by yourself. You know, I made sure that he got with somebody safe to get back home. Y'all, we have to store over these moments and situations that seem to be um conflict better so that we can always be a witness in a life. I ain't gonna sit here and cap and tell y'all I wasn't upset. I'm I'm not gonna say that. Um my blood was boiling. You hear me? Um but I am grateful and I'm thankful for the Holy Ghost um uh, for instant correction and in my behavior and my action, even my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get to action. It was more so thoughts. You know, I wasn't able to capture every thought and command it to obey Christ. I did give him permission to write on my tongue, to shut my doggone mouth, to order my steps. Um, And sometimes we have to be able to know that we are losing our footing and we need to invite God into our situation so that he can have his way with the situation so he can ultimately do what needed to be done. You know, and I'm thankful that this situation turned out the way that it turned out. I'm grateful. Um, And now it's a testimony and I hope it helps somebody because y'all, this wasn't easy. I'm just grateful that it went the way that it went. I'm grateful that the Lord had his hand on me and this situation. I pray when y'all face with something like this that you're able to deal with it in the spirit and not in the flesh. Y'all stay blessed. Continue to do your best. I love y'all. Peace.